Hey, what's going on everybody? Texas Red Leg here. Wanted to take a minute to uh, thank all my subscribers and uh, people that interact with me. Uh, <clears throat> Misfit Homemaker, Hill Country Prepper, Danny Plunk, and I'm sure there's others that I'm missing out um, on. Obamp Spike, Starl. Anyway, um, I just wanted to say thanks to y'all. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of uh, followers or subscribers, but I do appreciate the ones I have. And please uh, keep the interaction coming. I think it's good that we talk and and uh, bounce stuff off each other and, you know, get reports on what things are looking like in different areas. And I think that's uh, that's real important to everybody. So I appreciate y'all doing that. Um, I wanted to talk about a couple of preps today that people may be overlooking maybe not just depends i guess on what the priorities are but um one thing i would definitely continue to stockpile is propane um i went to a store today and noticed that um it was quite depleted um you know in the cages out front there were a few but there were people inquiring about those as i was inside so um, if you see, you know, available propane bottles, I would go ahead and grab them if I were you. Um, regardless of whether or not your current, you know, grill tank is empty or not. Uh, you know, propane can be used for other things besides grilling. And I hope you know that. And I hope you're preparing for that. You may have to end up heating your home with it. You know, a heater of some sort that runs on propane this, this winter. So, uh, please keep that in mind. Uh, another thing that I uh, wanted to remind people about is, you know, spirits, uh, you know, your liquor and your wine, if that's what, something that you partake in. Um, I was in a place today and it was well, well, well stocked. Um, it was bountiful, I would say. So um, you might want to, uh, you know, consider topping those stocks off as well. Um, you know, I don't know if that's going to be a target of anything, you know, depending on the state that you're in. But, you know, if it is, that could become an issue um, for some people. But anyway, um, I always like to have it around and, and uh, you know, is what it is. So, <clears throat> and um, with regard to the the silicone metal that's sh short shortage uh, in short supply of, I should say, uh, mainly from China. Um, one of the main things that they utilize that product for in manufacturing is solar panels. And you know, I'm not a huge uh, solar person or anything like that. I've got a small little emergency solar kit. Um, you know, nothing special. You know, three or four hundred watts type thing. And uh, but they say that this silicone metal uh, shortage is really going to affect the manufacturing of solar panels and solar panel type products. So if you've been intending to get a little solar kit, you might wanna go ahead and jump on that and get that done. Uh, you never know. I, I think, you know, watched a video from Pinball this morning and I'm right in line with what he's saying, and that is that whatever is going to happen, if it is a uh, you know military type assault or conflict, whatever is going to happen in that arena is going to happen very quick, like that. You're just going to wake up one morning and you're going to go WTF. Okay, I would expect that type of scenario. All these red flags. You know, and you have to look at the sources. You have to look at the news that you trust. You have to look at, you know, people with balanced opinions and things like that to really get a good grasp of what the hell is really going on. There's a lot of false flags. There's black swans. There's all this jazz that's being cooked up. And I'm telling you... Um, You need to prepare yourselves to be able to function without help. And that means without help from anybody else, without help from the government, 
without ha without help from first responders because if this thing goes down, first responders are going to be worried about their own families, okay? Get your medical kits in order, get your cold and flu stuff in order, get everything packed to the gills so you don't have to go out there and fight with the savages and maniacs because you're already good to go. So I hope everybody's having a good week so far. Um, I know that there's a lot of stress and anxiety out there, but stay the course, you know, as long as you're accomplishing something every day, no matter how small it may be, you're, you're still accomplishing and you're still moving forward. So I would encourage everybody to keep their head up and keep, keep the foot on the gas because um, you know, every day that goes by may be one less day that you've got to be able to fulfill those needs and stock those supplies like nobody's business. So with that, I wish everybody a great rest of the week. Keep those gas tanks full. Fill those propane tanks. Get those solar items ordered and continue to stock those items which you're low on. And remember, winter is coming. And they keep talking about this dark winter too. So with that, keep prepping, stack it deep, long live the Republic.